Well, the difference I think this year's is having a, a, a huge bullseye on our back. Um, it puts added pressure, but we didn't start that way last year. We kind of creeped. Uh, but this in, in this season, we know we return a lot of guys that, that played on that team, and the expectations are high. And we trained very hard in the spring. And uh, what it means is we're going to have to ramp it up very quickly. That's what it means because everybody sees this as their championship game. So uh, we have to be playing our best uh, every moment of every game. And uh, that's going to take an enormous team effort, massive uh, organization because we have so many new guys. But uh, the guys have pulled together very well. Extremely hard workers, which is a, a big part of our program. And we knew they would fit in that way. But uh, as far as the, the uh, language barriers and, and just uh, common normal things that happen in, within games, it's coming along. Every day seems to be better as far as the connection between the players and as far as their understanding of each other. They're running off each other. They're, uh, they're passing to each other. And, and the se sequences become longer. So our possession becomes longer. Uh, from the back to the front, um, and so I've seen uh, a huge improvement in a very short amount of time. With Oren's going to come from uh, multiple people, in my opinion. There's a lot of new people that are going to hit the scoreboard. We've already had one, uh, Gore, who transferred to us from Pasadena City College, is uh, is a talent, and he's going to score his share of goals. He's also going to set up his share of goals. Uh, what's interesting uh, is is Cameron Iwasa. We, he finished kind of, he started where he left off last year, and he's, he's going to score some big goals. Um, there's no question he will be a force to be reckoned with. He's become so much better. People don't really realize that he was a halftime soccer player, halftime baseball player before he came here. And since he's become full time soccer, football, he's uh, really taken his game to another level. And he's extremely athletic, extremely strong, and he can finish in key moments. Um, and then Trey, Lester Trey Hayes is a completely different person than last year as far as where he is uh, in his development. Uh, it's, it's scary where, where it could go, but uh, we're taking it one day at a time. I think he's improved dramatically. Uh, he will need to continue to improve, but he has improved tremendously. Uh, Enrique Cardenas who has uh, always had the potential to score buckets of goals, is <laughs> very hard to handle. He's going to be a handful for anyone, uh, and he can play in a variety of positions for us, and he can show up where people don't expect him to show up, and he's that, um, he's that uh, uh, creative. He's very, very electric when he's on the ball and without the ball. He will, he will shine. He will score goals. Uh, and, of course, Probably one of the best preseasons that we've had from a player um, has come from Chino. Um, and uh, Chino is a guy that uh, I think has a massive uh, potential, massive potential for, for this game. And uh, his speed, his skill, his finishing ability has been on display this preseason. And he's been one of the best that I've seen in, in any of the preseasons that I've had in 18 years. So I think he, he's, this could be a breakout year for him. But uh, again, it, I think it's going to be a, a scoring by committee. I think everybody will get their share. And what's nice is they're, they're selfless. Um, I want them to be a little bit more assertive, but they're selfless. So there's a number of guys, and, and that's just to name a few, uh, that, that I think can score goals. We have uh, a couple of new guys, Tom from Brazil, who has uh, shown and displayed that he can score goals. Um, George Mansour, who is another Cameron Owasa, only a little bit taller. His work ethic is, is unreal. Uh, you have Pavle, who has, he came in with goal scoring ability and he's probably one of the better shooters on the team. He's just been, you know, been nursing some injuries. So once all those guys come together, I mean, once we get this, this stew put together, we're kind of adding ingredients as we go, uh, I think it'll taste pretty good at the end. Everett has grown up here. He's become a man. And, uh, I would be shocked if he isn't being looked at at another level. He's an excellent defender. He's become so much better in the air. He's using his body much better for a big guy. He uses his body much better now. He communicates so much better. So he's become our leader. 
He is a leader on this team. What's his role? He's got to take everybody by the scruff of the neck, and he's, he's really, he has a handle on this team, and, and I've given him that. He's earned that. Um, he's going to do very well. Um, his distribution has, is 100% better than it was. It's constantly improving, and uh, there's nobody that's going to match him in speed, absolutely no one that will match him in speed and that I know of in our conference, although our conference is fantastic, and there's super players in the conference. He's very hard to beat because of his size and his speed, and he's become better tactically, technically, physically, and so put that all together along with his leadership, he's become a much better, com more complete player. Uh, a, a new opportunity for the goalkeepers. We have three solid goalkeepers. All three, Reed, Elliot, and Mike, uh, have done outstanding. Mike's, Mike's received the nod based on his performance in preseason and he actually had a pretty good spring against some formidable opponents. So he kind of has been baptized by fire, so to speak. But he's been, he's played the role last year of kind of observing and training under the tutelage of Chris Volk, who's a phenomenal goalkeeping coach and, uh, and, and under the tutelage of a, a great goalkeeper, kind of watching his mannerisms, how he kind of manages the team and organizes. He's still learning, but he's come, he's come very far as well. I mean, I, I, the improvement for these guys in, a very short, in very short order has been fantastic. So I would say at this point in time, Mike has the nod, but the difference uh, from last year to this year is we have three goalkeepers that are solid, that are competing for the spot versus, you know, we knew who it was. And, and I think that is, makes it a very competitive and a very exciting situation in goal where there's some there's some keepers pulling rabbits out of their hats and and raising some eyebrows right now so uh, a lot of potential for all three we want an exciting schedule I mean that's attractive to top players number one and uh, but that's that's not the rationale the rationale is to and, and credit the Big West coaches all the coaches in the Big West as a group they've kind of put it all on on, on, on each we've all put it on each other to to schedule better, schedule some out-of-conference games that are key games, and, and take, take the burden, the responsibility for that. And thank goodness to, that all the uh, administrators in the conference and all the colleges in the conference, which are, I mean, every program is fantastic. Just look at last weekend and the success of the conference last weekend. It tells you um, the value and the importance of what administrators and what coaches have done over the past five, six years. It has really changed the perception of the conference. And uh, in doing that, we have increased our RPI and made our conference a formidable, if not one of the top four conferences in the country. And that is huge. That speaks volumes for the confidence of the administrators and the coaches throughout the conference and the, and the level of play with the players. It's attracted some top players in our it's going to be a, a fun group of teams to watch. They're all excellent. They're all excellent. All right. I, I'm just as proud of everybody that becomes a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher uh, in, that comes from our program. I just want to see them graduate. But the guys that have kind of taken it and have, first of all, had the opportunity to take it to the next level and grasped, grasped that opportunity, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's like... It's indescribable as a coach because that's the pinnacle. And it also gives your team, your players, a carrot, something to dream for, something to look for. Those guys never knew they'd still be playing at this time, and they're grateful for that opportunity. And, and our guys are all working towards not only getting their degree, which is the primary reason they're here, but to have that dream, to have that hope that someday someone sees something in them that they need for their team at the next level. So, yes, I think it's, it's, it's just, it's, I can't describe it. It's watching Brad Evans play on TV, it's like watching your son, you know, play on TV. And so, um, I'm, I'm proud of him. He scored a goal this past week, you know, and he keeps doing well, and uh, he's had, he's, he's, he's in a good point in his life, and I want more guys to have that opportunity. And I think the better the team does, and the better the conference does, uh, which they will, uh, more of the players from the conference will be recognized. And one of the pro coaches told me this past year, he said, don't tell anybody about the Big West secret. 
I said, what do you mean by the Big West secret? He said, nobody really understands the, the players, the level of players coming out of the Big West. And that team has filled their team with a number of Big West players and have been very, very successful. So I think uh, we will see more from the Big West Conference. There will be more thunder in the coming years.